play here for Anonimo. They've uh, let loose any util that they have. They got that P250 on Kai, trying to take the fight at range. But he'll actually fall. Rico getting the frag. He's going to find a second as well. Kyla desperately trying to find the trade. But the crossfire has been set up. Great teamwork on the defense here from Honor. Anonimo just taking their time in the round. Throw the wall of smokes outside. They've got Kai working his way. Snacks on the angle. We'll find Taz, who is looking to get aggressive and play for some information. Understandably so as well, considering the lack of weaponry that Honor is having. Comparison to the T side. Rico has a job to do as well, but he's got no support. So he'll fall. All as does this is. And it's a clean round coming through from Anonimo. Innocent finally able to activate outside as well as he finds the kill. And they've just picked up all these kills. Kai will even come through. Well, this time, or rather for Honor, is locking up the defense. Trying to uh, use numbers. There's even a third player in position here as well. So surely there's no way that Anonimo is actually able to find these kills. Oh, Neo's fallen. That's a big kill. Taz was doing all that he could to try and take the bait towards frag, but in the end, uh, they were still aware that Neo could be peeking through from hell. Taz at least able, able to find that frag on Anonimo, uh, rather on Innocent, and that's a big kill as well, because he was coming through with the backstab from the B-bomb site. So now the T side has to reconsider their options, and they're going to force the issue in towards the safe bomb site. Yeah, Kai, good decision making there. No hesitation as he flies through the squeaky door and takes control of the A-bomb site. Riku gets shut down as he pushes through the smoke as well, and that means it's only Taz left remaining in the 1v3. No money in the bank here either. Saving the AK, probably uh, probably the best choice here for Taz. Not sure what his prospects are in terms of winning the clutch. Not likely, that's for sure. Yeah, he'll fall to Kyla. Big round coming through here. Aziz, he's on the bomb site itself. Oh man, big fight here for Taz to win on the angle. He will catch Kai off guard. And that sort of throws the in the for the T side. As I have to deal with Taz and Minio will. Big kill for him to take him down and try and create a bit of room now on this P bomb site. As does he hasn't been able to find anything either. Tucked away in shadow right now. Can he deny the bomb plant? Where's Kyla going to be planting? Innocence on the low takes down Rico. That's a big kill, but there's a single door push coming through from Neo. Only 10 seconds left on the clock here. Aziz, he's taken Minio down. It's only Innocence left for Minio. Five seconds left on the clock. Even if he might get this kill into Aziz, it won't mean anything because Gruha, the player who took all that unconfirmed damage through the door at the. Yeah. Big round. Three all. Quite a lot of these money being spent for Anonimo coming to this round, but Honor they got no cash left in the bank. They don't have many players left on the safe bomb side either. Gruha at least able to find two kills. Aziz has come through to support him as well. And now it's three versus three. Gruha, you'll find a frag on Innocent. Oh man. Honor is falling apart here on the defense, even though it got onto a pretty good way passively in towards A. And Aziz has made the right call just to hang around as he steps out to spot the low HP snacks. He's also seen Kyler as well. He's just going to swing wide on him. Oh my god, Aziz. Jousting it out here in the 1 1 bracket in the Swiss stage. Loser goes 1 2 and only have one life left remaining. Neither team wants to be in that position. And Rico gets the gun round off to a perfect start. They don't have the luxury of the AWP right now, so they have to try and control outside with the rifles. That's why they're still there playing in tandem. Rico off the back of the flash will actually find a kill. Nothing coming through yet for Anonimo, even they've been able to find some control and edge their way forward. They still haven't found the frag necessary to completely unlock the map, and there we go. A couple kills do end up coming through for them. Kyla, you have to find those shots. Oh no, Aziz continues to frag. Innocent couldn't find the trade either. It's a one-man advantage in the round for Honoris until Kai takes down Neo. That's a big kill, because now we have any options available. And uh, yeah, he doesn't really want to save either because he knows that his economy is going to be destroyed. Anonimo just looking to try and burst their way in towards the safe bomb site. Could be a wrap coming through outside as well. Neo got his attention focused towards Squeaky Door. Will get found out by Snacks who doubles down. And Anonimo, Anonimo have taken full control of the safe bomb site now. There is going to be a chance at the retake here, I suppose. But Snacks with that third kill probably uh, dashes any of the hopes here for the CT side. They're hanging around during the A bomb sites and giving Aziz any opportunity to cause some shenanigans. They immediately just commit towards B. And now Aziz is left alone in the clutch. Retake. What can he get done coming through from ramp? Obviously, Anonimo wouldn't be immediately aware of where he's coming from. It is a spot innocent. Almost seems like he's aware of his position. He can commit to this because they've got the money to work with. Oh, and he's found Minio. Massive kill. Now he can just focus his attention towards the bomb site. He almost knows that Innocence is there. Look at Aziz playing with the patience and the discipline right now. Innocent will step out for information and Aziz just ends up spraying him down. Oh my god, Aziz. This guy is just built differently, man. 
He's got Ziz in him. And now for Anonymous mode to buy here because they've got that bomb plant and the round loss bonus. And it looks like there's going to be a bit of a frustration rush coming through here. Looking to just try and overwhelm and use the brute force approach to get themselves across the line. Dropping down the vent they go. At least one has been able to. They can't find the vent right now. Gruha will fall as he overextends. Oh man, this is an absolute bloodbath in the start of the round right now. Seems as though Anonimo are down the vent with the bomb, but uh, haven't been able to get control of the site. Taz has rotated in position as well. Doesn't have to force the issue here. Sitting in the cubby. Gonna be waiting. Kyla wins out that big gunfight. And that will now create an avenue of entry here for uh, Anonimo to get onto this B-bomb side. Big kill as well from Mino. Good patience. Lone. I mean, hey, as this is alive, anything can happen. He's 14 and 6 right now. And Neo's found a frag as well. The bomb has uh, in towards the site. Neo invent right now, though. Can he find the timing? And he's checking out towards Kyla. Oh, man. He brings Kyla down low, but Kyla will still win the gunfight. Where do Anonymo commit is the question with 18 seconds left on the clock. It's their worst nightmare. Aziz is left alone in the clutch. 14 HP and 24 HP for the two players remaining here. But oh my god, it doesn't matter. Aziz with the AWP. Up close, he hits the shot. And then with the CZ, he finishes it as well. Oh my word. That is just too sick coming through from Aziz. He just can't stop. Yeah, for the side of Anonymo. On their map pick as well. Last time these two teams played on neutral. The 10 5 half time scoreline on the team side for Anonimo. Now they try and burst their way in towards the A bomb side, but Gruha with the Thomas has found a double. Zuz, he finds another in the round as well. It's fallen departure, and Anonimo finally a couple kills come back. A slight reprieve in the round, but is it enough? That's the question. Rico's coming through with the massive flank here as well. He's going to be finding Kyla for free. At least the trade there for Minio, but. Doesn't see anybody. Mino has got the perfect timing. Literally the perfect timing here. Easy kill onto Taz. And now he's going to make his way down ramp. He knows. Okay, Taz is watching ramp. That means there's nobody on the B-bomb side right now. Because then why would Taz be committed to watching that angle? Good decision making here from Mino. And now, well, guess what? Taz is left alone in the clutch. So this is an easy round for Honorus, right? Maybe not. Maybe Mino can complete this situation. Can get his team across the line. He's got the audio cues. Is this forced to make the next move? And there we go. Big brain play. Anonimo in the final round of the first half with two love to reduce the deficit to just one a great flashbang means Taz is completely blinded. Oh my god, Kyla missing a lot of shots there. Actually should have been able to get that kill. Even Kai's been think So man, this is looking pretty good for Honorus on the defense. I thought it would be it was gonna be a 4v5 that they had to try and fight their way with, but no, they've got the man advantage all of a sudden. Good response there from Neo as well. And what is the response from Anonimo? Minio edging his way forward. Great awareness from him to take down Neo Aziz. At least able to get the kill back. And look at how damn low the remaining two Anonimo players are. Toil they've got 12 and 2 HP on Kai and Snacks. Won't be peeking it. Audio Q given away. Kai actually able to avoid the flashbang. Looking for Snacks to step out here. He finds the timing on the first. No one's sticking the bomb now. Snacks going to be dropping a flashbang. Oh no, Aziz. That's such a tough, tough job to do. And Kai along with Beast Mode Snacks is uh, uh, CZ as well because he's got armor, right? And there's going to be information found by Minio. Oh my god, he just pivots off, steps through, and takes Ruha down. Taz looking for the trade. In the meantime, Aziz has fallen. Important kill here for Taz to find because if he goes down the round, really starts to spiral out of control. He's trying to chase Minio down, but he runs out of ammo and he eventually pushes into Kai's cross there, who's now watching towards the B bomb site. Rico gets the C4 across. He's taking quite a bit of damage, though. Kai tapping away, tries to deny the bomb plant, won't be able to achieve that. So at least Honorus have found the plants in the run. But surely anything else is not going to be possible. Neo and Kai and Rico would go half, have, have to go absolutely crazy if there's going to be standing any chance in the round. Oh no, Neo taps that one down. This is looking a little bit awkward right now for Anonimo. It seems like Stax is trying to force the defuse. Neo, he finds himself the third. Look at how low Minio and Innocent are right now. The defuse continues to be stuck here. Neo's touching it out right now. Minio can't hit the instantaneous shot. Neo's done it with only 30 points of health to his name. The legend has clutched it out for his team. And Honorus again have been able to win a super close round. Man, that should not have happened. Anonimo, they just... <laughs> for, uh, for Honorus, securing map control, forcing him back means no further information for Anonimo on that part of the map. Mio finds a kill outside as well, lurking with the SG. And now Kyla going to try and play for some information towards Squeaky. Only good for the one. Trade comes to be immediately afterwards. This is getting awkward for Anonimo. Innocent got a job to do right now. He's being circumvented on the safe bomb site. Does he have support? Yeah, I think there's actually a player towards heaven right now. 27 seconds left on the clock. Honorus have to get a move on as they start to make their way forward. 
Neo in towards Mount as the players who come out of school, but it's Taz from Heaven who's gonna be the key in the round. He's found snacks, and now they hit the save bomb site. Innocent at least finds a kill, but that's what it's gonna be in the round for Indonimo. Alright, so Honoros, they're looking really comfortable right now. They're cruising on this T side. Just playing out their default, taking control as a group. Minio at least finds the opening kill in the round for Anonimo. Such an important round for them. Snacks getting aggressive outside as well. We'll find Neo. So some control being taken here by Anonimo as they sort of assert themselves in the round off the back of this Honoros. Don't really have any options available. They have to commit towards this B-bomb side. Minio playing behind the silo. We'll find an easy frag. He doubles down on Tariko as well, no doubt. And uh, I mean, they'd love to keep numbers alive. They would love to keep players alive. And an HE combo that an HE is going to do so much damage. Oh my god. <laughs> Snacks. Massive brain nade. But unfortunately, Mino's brains are blown out of his head by Taz. Oh my god. How on earth is this happening right now? Kyla has a chance to save the day. He's only going to be good for two on the spray down. Snacks misses his follow up shot as well. Dropping down into the side with the USB tapping away. He's able to find one. Looking for Taz as well. Oh my god. I actually saw a world of which things in the beginning of the round. Then they start to group up. Ruha finds the opening kill in the round. Kai taking an extended fight here with Snacks. Actually going to be able to get the HE grenade kill. Yeah! And oh my god. Kyla finding a really important kill into Aziz. They're just going to be stunting the approach of Ronros as they wrap their way outside. Two players in towards Heaven while Gruha is in towards Lobby. And Neo finds the kill. And that just throws things into disarray right now for the CT side. Both of the players are on the A bomb site right now. And Honoris are on towards B. This is this is their round. This is absolutely Honoris' round. Kyla. Oh my god. Gruha gets baited in because he thinks that the player's already gone in towards Vent. Little does he know there's a second to come through. Kyla and Innocent to try and save the day here. Rico being baited into the fight will win the fight with Kyla. That means it's only Innocent left from any he does spray Neo down. Rico though forcing the issue trying to find the trade actually misses his shot. So Innocent, he's been gifted an opportunity now to try and fight his way in towards the stun. Gonna be mollying, mollying Rico forward and he actually connects on the shots. Rico has been taken down. Anonimo is still alive. They win the two versus three clutch and they will continue to fight you on Nuke. 14-9. He has a 10 second defuse, but this time Innocent will be able to complete it. And that would be a nice little mental high ground for Anonimo as well as they'd be able to secure themselves double digits. So let's see if that's going to be the case. Kai towards lowers will find the first, but he gets traded out. And that's going to be setting things in motion here for, Anon for Anonimo as they start to aggressively make their way forward on towards the B-bomb site. Snacks though, on the timing, will at least find a pick, but not going to be out of the woods by any stretch here for Anonimo. Still a lot of work for them to do. Bomb plant will be secured here. Two players in the B site while Gruha lurks through outside, taking his time getting this underway because uh, they've taken some time. The bomb's already ticked down towards halfway, so they need to get a move on here. Aziz swings out off of Silo. He's not taking the attention. He doesn't actually have to take any further fights. I don't think that was necessary for him to force the issue like that. Still a chance here, perhaps, for Anonimo, but Rico, he's still just been able to patiently wait here. Diffuse being stuck. It's all about Snacks trying to hold down the line. Oh no, the Diffuse is let go, but I think there's still actually just enough time for them to complete it. Innocence and Snacks, they've done enough to win. Because the T side of Nuke is so small, you have... Snacks in this fiendish position could be shutting Neo down as he edges his way around the corner, yeah. This is a spot for information, now knows that there's a player in towards heaven, so the information is there. Snacks looking to try and play off of this as well, he will find a kill, but he's going to have to uh, give some audio cues away here. Minio, up close and personal, doesn't know which angle to watch, and finally they will push through into his guys and he picks up a double kill. Yeah, round secured, only Gruha left remaining, he's got no choice but to essentially save this AK. Doesn't want to die off the time, but that would be disastrous and... Actually, he gets a kill. Okay. I kind of, I kind of want to say that's a missed smoke, but maybe it's some sort of a one way. They know about that. I don't, Kai. Not checked immediately on the rockets. He's able to find one. Innocent coming through from the dead. Ben will find a frag as well. Kai going above and beyond. There we go. The difference maker finally comes through the round. Neo though. Oh my God. He finds the kill. Look, it's 180 degrees. He takes down Minio in heaven as well. It's a one versus one against his former teammate, Snacks. Snacks knows exactly where Neo is as well. Now Neo is given the information. Snacks can't find the kill immediately. Neo swings off and Snacks was saucy. 
Great work from Neo. Like I said, unfortunately not enough. And how, now have a look at the pinnacle betting odds. Now they're almost identical to what they were when we started off this map. Even though it's 14-14. Fight being taken outside as well. Snacks catches off the Ziz. They do break back. Rico and supports the issue. But he will fall prey to Snacks as well. 28 kills here for the Polish legend. As he starts to dominate Honorus. Gruha will fall as to win this round. Couple of kills outside here for Snacks. Kai picks up one as well. It's the beginning of the end here for Honorus. Unless Neo and Gruha can turn this around and change the day, Kai will find Neo. He continues to plague them outside. And Honorus have fallen apart here. Unfortunately, Anonimo will be completing the comeback. Unless Gruha can do something ridiculous. Flash outside. Kyler will take off the back of a sick comeback on Nuke, where they were down 13 7 and then 14 8. They brought it all the way back to win 16 14. But here on Nuke, the scores are level. And it's honorable on the C side. They've been able to find the opening pick in the round and the second as well. My god, Taz just dominating these CT players right now. My Neo will fall prey as well. And it's just honorable with a super aggressive pistol round up Nana taking full control and Anonimo not able to do anything about it. Snacks going to actually not take that kill. I kind of like this decision from Snacks because, uh, as I mentioned, Honorus were ahead 14 to 8 on Nuke on the T side, and uh, they weren't able to weren't able to close out the map. In fact, they lost it in regulation, so it's not even like they won another round after they were up 14 8. We just saw Anonimo for Anonimo that is, but. Let's see what uh, Honorus can do. Maybe they've uh, watched the demo. They can come back and rectify their mistakes. It's a very aggressive force fight coming through from Anonimo in towards him as they go and Rico. Really important double kill there from him. Just restoring harm in the situation. Able to shut down the push coming through. He even finds himself a third frag in the round. And it's only Snacks left remaining. And he's been spotted out by Neo as well. So the information is there. The Force Buy has not achieved much here for Anonymo whatsoever. Only the bomb site yet. With 45 seconds left on the clock. Now we'll see the smoke in towards the counter monitor to keep him at bay. Nino now lucky, looking to try and lock down the defense. He's only going to be good for one. And some damage followed up onto Rico as well. Now it's on Kai boosted. But Kruha with the pre-fire will find that really important frag. And uh, now... Now we've got a man advantage for Honorus as a secure control of the bomb site. I don't even I don't even know if Anonymo went have a crack at this re nice burst into the B bomb site. I thought they were gonna find themselves in a spot of bother considering the util that the, the CT still had at their disposal. But um oh snacks, he's gonna fall to Daz. That's problematic. I mean, is is it even worth hanging around at that point, you know, trying to find exit kills? Because now he's lost his baby, his big green gun, and he'll have nothing to work with in the next round. If they're just committed to the save from the get-go, they have three, two rifles and an AWP to work with on the three, the three players that... What's the plan here for Anonimo in this gun round? Snacks will open up with his AWP getting aggressive. There's the CT side on Inferno. Nino going to be swinging out of the back of a flashbang. Does a hefty amount of damage to Taz that can't find the kill. Does find the follow-up shot through the smoke though. But the job's not done to get off on one of those. On the hard to lay on towards the safe bomb site. Kyla finds a double. Kai will fall though. Gruha desperately trying to crutch this out. This was actually a 1 versus 4. This was a 1v4 that's become a 1v2. Got the bomb on the site. Drops the smoke in towards Moto. So the plant should be a foregone conclusion. We got Minio who's wrapping around. He's going to be going all the way into Archers. While Snacks will be coming through from Library. He's just trying to take the bait right now. He's trying to keep the attention focused towards Library. But you can see Gruha's positioning himself such that he's not exposed to apartments. Oh my god, he's taken so much damage. Gruha, he only has one point of health left remaining. Snacks knows that he has to be low. There's a kit in the smoke as well. So Snacks is just waiting for it to dissipate. USP in hand. He steps up. He spots the gun barrel. And he's even going to get the headshot to finish off the kill. Man, I'm sure the Anonimo team are breathing a massive sigh of relief after Snacks wins that round. Or finds that kill and secures the round. Okay. Honorus was still the more than enough money to buy up in the next round if they lose here, so they've got a solid run ahead of them right now, but Snacks has found another opening. The initial impact, still more work to be done here with his AWP. Nades coming in towards Top Banana, not going to be affecting Snacks. Taz edges his way out, straight into Snacks' car. There he goes, who continues to hang around. He finds a third. Oh my god, he actually peeks out more, even further, looking for further frags. Eventually, he will be taken down. Minio, though, finds the trade and ensures that there's still full control in the round here for Anonimo. Too hot. 
the hero in the previous. Now Honorus's funds are starting to be depleted. We don't actually have enough cash in the bank to fully buy up in the next round. They're going to be contesting Banana here, but Snack con continues to do what Snacks does best. He's found a double kill. One courtesy of the orb, one courtesy of the molly, and uh, it's an ideal situation here for Anonimo. They don't have to continue to force this issue, though. They can just call it a day. Oh my god, Minio is through the smoke. He's found a kill. Follow-up damage as well, and Honorus, they are having a torrid time of it here in Banana right now. Minio and Snacks just plaguing them right now. My god, Buha will fall prey to Snacks as well to quad Banana much later in the round. Don't take those early fights and that early contact, and that is going to be their option here. Oh man, it's going to be the Molly Smoke combo here from Minio, forcing Neo out, but Neo just destroying sites. I think you have to use them in succession, not at the same time. Now we'll be seeing Honorus shifting their focus in towards middle, jumping their way forward. And this is going to be good for one, nearly a second as well. He's got support from Kyla. There's a play on the A bomb side here for Anonymo as well. This is where Kai has to come alive, able to find one, but the double peak leads to his undoing. Kyla tries to force the issue, but he will fall as well. And now it's all on Snacks to clutch with the AWP. Even though Taz and Rico are fairly low, it's still a really tough clutch for him, man. He's got the kits, he's got a smoke, he's going to trade for an AK. Not afraid to give these audio cues, he's already committed, man. He is uh, loud and proud right now. Charging his way forward. He the smoke to give himself some cover. Rico picks up, peeks out. And Ty, does he just wait for the smoke to dissipate and actually take the fight? He's on the angle right now. He's starting to fade. Kai's edging his way forward. Honor is going to be making their way in towards this B bomb site where Snacks lies in wait by himself. We've seen him do a fantastic job with the AWP so far here on Info on the CT side of Inferno. And again, he'll find a double kill, but the HE grenade will lead to his demise. So he needs to kill does come back. Innocent looking for the angle through the smoke. Won't be able to connect. There is some fights coming up through Banana here as well. Nino looking to try and force the issue, but Taz unblinded will find the kill. Kyla can't double down either, which means Innocent is left alone in the clutch and heal for. Juice will left up for Honor. So they've only got two smokes and one flashbang left remaining. So wherever they use this util, they're going to have to make sure that it's effectively uh, utilized. Surprise, surprise. Snacks is able to find one of the away and he gets around the corner just in time. He's got support from Kyla, but Kyla's only good for damage. Neo and Zerg taking names right now. Snacks at least will find another kill back, but still a very awkward position here for the CT side. That's why Snacks forces the issue, but he doesn't spot the Zerg in the cubby. Oh my god, Zerg. He just goes absolutely above and beyond. What a sick double kill for him. A triple kill in the round. And Kai pretty much has no chance right now. I mean, he's going to get spotted out chat. Yeah, unfortunate time. And some good util usage from Honorus has actually forced the CTs back. It looked as though they wanted to try and force the issue and get aggressive, but they don't have that option. Massive double mate. There's a huge amount of damage. Rico's going to peek out off the back of it, but the trade is there for Kai. And Anonimo, they have actually been able to maintain control. So that's a really nice result for them off the back of that skirmish. Finally, something actually going their way. Max, close top middle, will be able to find one damage onto a follow-up as well. Information is there. Now it's on Kyla. Please find a kill here and you'll find an easy frag on Neo. Wasn't expecting him to be on the balcony at all. Wasn't cleared. And now it's grew hot to clutch. Well, at least drawing that rotation back in towards the B side from Honorus. Smoking towards Moto Flash over the top as well. There's nobody contesting these players coming out of apartments because there's two towards short right now. Snacks with the backstab will find one. Kai with his P250 cleans up as well. So there we go. Anonimo taking full control. Should be able to convert the pistol round from here, considering they've got the numerical advantage and control of the bomb site. Oh man, Kai, that's such a sick shot, man. He'll be feeling a little bit better in the de confidence department after that pistol round because he's struggled so far here on the map. Neo and Aziz left alone to try and make something happen in the 2v3. They don't have a kit, so they're going to have to find these gunfights early on. And Aziz is taking down snacks. They also know that there's a player in the corner right now. This is actually doable for Honor, so they can find the frags. Kyla finally able to activate from the corner. And now it's only Neo left remaining, and he's going to get... Anonimo just taking their time in the round, securing banana control. They're forced on a back, and now they make their way in towards top middle. Anonimo's options, they start to dwindle. And uh, their util does as well. They're going to have to commit to the safe bomb site. Snacks is going to be stepping out to smoke. He falls to Rico as well. So there's been some damage, but it's still a 5 versus 3 here. Anonimo desperately trying to find some kills in the round. He even boosted Kai up, but he can't find anybody. He doesn't spot Neo in the room either. Finally, a frag comes back for Kyla, but the damage has been done in the round. 
so many players on the safe side. This should be impossible for Anonimo. And there we go. They just continue to lose players. Only Innocent left remaining in the clutch with 20 seconds left on the clock. He does have the bomb on his back. And he knows where the remaining two players are as well. Going to be dropping a smoke. Bakes the plant. Forces Rico forward. He's got the frag. Oh my god. All of a sudden, Innocent has actually turned this into a very winnable one versus one. Might over take, take a fight that wasn't necessary. Now, Innocent peeking for information doesn't spot him. So he's not sure what's going on right now. The offer trades for the M. I mean, I, I guess the plan is because he, he'll be able to see a, like a, a much deeper, narrower angle, but we won't even see that have it coming into effect because Honorus are being tested on towards the A bomb site right now. Kyler and Kai have found the opening kills. K squared getting the job done, and Honorus have no choice but to save. They can, certainly won't be uh, able to make this retake happen in a 4v3. Anonimo, I'll go ahead for what I think might actually be the first time here on Inferno. 11-10 on the T side. Neo at least going to find the kill to take his gun into the next round. But um, Anonimo, they have just looked superb here on their T side. Again, they'll keep majority of the team alive. Going to continue to build this healthy economy and continue to pile the pressure and misery onto Honoris. That they have got some fight left in them. Yet the double nade does a significant chunk of damage to both Neo and Rico. As this with is also being tested here by Kyla. Can do about this in terms of util. They're gonna have to just try and lock it down with the frag. CT smoke that means that Neo is gonna be blocked out. Does he charge through it? Looks like he wants to try and force the issue. Rico finds himself one, but he's been traded out immediately afterwards. And Neo's been locked out out of the bomb side as well. Last time we saw Honor in the V before they committed to the save. I wonder if they're gonna have a go at it and able to win any of them. Not only that, but I mean, there hasn't been that many frags in the second half here for Honorus either. Okay. What is the plan, Honorus? Time to turn the ship around. Contacting towards Bananas actually worked out perfectly for them. They've taken Innocent down. Kai, is he just going to push through this? Yeah, I mean, I think that was a bit overzealous. Alright, so a couple of kills going the way of the CT side. A couple of kills that are untraded. Kylo at the back of this is trying to work his way in towards the A bomb side, but he doesn't he's not aware of Azuz's position. So this is looking way better for the CT side. Contact towards archers, wrapping their way forward. That's a double smoke into the arch, so maybe a bit of a, a misplay there. Molly will be forcing the library player back, but he can still take contact at range. Snacks, oh my god! He just charges through the Molly and takes Neo down. It's a flurry of frags here. Aziz, he's able to pick up two, a third of his own on the spray down as well. Looking to stay alive. Rico comes in to support him. Oh my god, it's only Mino left remaining here for Anonimo. He runs out of ammo. No, no, no. He steps out and he has taken Rico down. It means that it's Taz who's left alone in the clutch. Mino, one versus one. He could just walk straight into Taz's AWP here. Oh my god, Minio spotted him. Taz missing a work with Minio. How does he approach this clutch? We saw him win a superb clutch on Nuke. One of the, the players who puts a lot of thoughts into the way he's going. Fighting towards Top Banana. Neo completely blinded up. He wanted to try and take a fight in the early stages of the round. Didn't even notice that. He lost his life at bottom banana. So Rico actually did find a trade. Alright. Taz in supports as well. Gonna be blinded off the angle. Rico. Even though Aziz has found all this information in middle, surely now, yeah, they finally realize they have to get a move on Aziz. He's coming through with the quick flank here. Smoke starts to rain in from the T side. Aziz, he catches snacks with a nade in his hand. And um, this just throws the cats amongst the pigeons now. Anonimo, they find themselves in a very, very awkward position. Taz has the shot baited. Honorus, they're still hanging around middle right now. Is this? He's in the smoke, waiting for it to fade. Is this necessary? He should be catching snacks off guard three. Anonimo, they have to commit to this B bomb site. They don't have any other choices. They've got one smoke between them, a couple flashes as well, and here we go. What do you have, Anonimo? Do you have what it takes? Neo with the AWP will connect on a shot, and that's going to be slowing things down even further in the round. Kai's been able to get into the tree corner, but he's got the bomb in his background. There's only a minute left. They do have two smokes and one flashbang. So they're just going to exec their way into the B-bomb site. That's what they're hedging their bets on right now. That's what they're going to be giving their best effort to try and make something happen. Taz, he connects on the shot with the AWP, stunting the approach. But the trade comes through. Not only that, but Mino is taking on Rico as well. And Anonimo there are still alive and kicking down on the map. Oh my god. They're going to be making honor of sweats. Unless Aziz, Neo, and Gruha can combine to make this retake happen. Innocent takes a lot of damage towards Top Banana. So all three of these players left alive for Anonimo. They're fairly low right now. The boost going to be coming through. Does Innocent spot? is the question. Yeah, he's taking his down. Not before his can find a frag, however. And now Innocent has to win this gunfight. Yeah, great shot there to take down Neo. That was a must-win uh, little exchange. And... Alright, are we going to overtime? 
Are we going to overtime? Snacks has found Neo. That's the perfect start for the round. Gets only Rico on the speed bombs. Like using the fountain as cover. He's good for one. There's a low HP. Innocent making his way forward. Good flashbang means Rico is able to find a second kill. Oh my god. Rico doing so much work. But look at the rotation from Anonimo. They're leaving this bomb site. They're going in towards A. It's only Kyla here right now. Gotten into position. He'll be hearing the audio cues coming through from library. It's all about the timing. He holds the angle. And he takes Fuha down. Massive kill. Now it's decision time for Honorus. Where are they going to be going? Kyla's going to try and sell the fake right now. The bomb carry is actually rotating through as well. Snacks is taking down Taz. It's happening. It looks like we're going to overtime. It looks like we're going to overtime unless Aziz and Rico can stop in the middle all the way. It's going to be tough for Aziz to get across here. Unscathed. He spots out Snacks and Snacks actually misses the shot. He misses a follow-up as well. Aziz at least able to get in towards the bomb site. Rico, he will fall to Snacks though, which means it's now all on Aziz in one versus two kind of Scores are level. The slate is wiped clean. We're back to square one here on Inferno. 19 rounds. Who can get to that 19th round? Minio has a fight, but Taz and Rico destroy Minio stacks. And Kyla's fallen as well. Oh my god, Taz just pushed aggressively down middle. Anonymo, we're not at all prepared for this hit to come through. For this aggression to come through from the easy side. Taz still tapping away with the USP. will finally find a, uh, finally actually find the kill. Another kill in the round. How much depth can they really have? I mean, to take this into, to win the series 2-0 from, from the position they were in would just be crazy. Flash here, Neo, he's turned and taken down. Rico trying to trade, will he be able to find the first? And he avoids Kai as well. Kai desperately trying to chase him down, but Rico repeats. Rico repeats, and Kai was never ready for it. He pulled his knife out to try and chase him down. He ends up losing his life. There's gonna be some aggression here and towards top middle. Frag's being traded back and forth once again. So Honorus, they've got the advantage in the round. It appears as though Anonymous are going to be committing to this B-bomb site. Snacks and Innocent chiming in with one another to try and make something happen. Snacks. Anonymous on the cusp of losing all three rounds of the first half of OT, which would just be disastrous. Taz! My god, coming through the smoke catches them off guard. Looks like Neo is going to be pushing through as well. This surely was heard by Innocent though, right? I don't think that Neo shift walked the entire way through. And actually, there's a gap here right now. Rico has been found, but there's a gap here. Neo, really, they know that Gruha has to be on A. And it kind of means that Gruha has a chance here. And not only that, but because an Anonymo have taken so long to get in towards the site, Neo is also rotated in towards top middle. Snacks though finds Gruha. Neo, can he disrupt this bomb plant? It's a 1v4. Really tough touch here for him. We'll be taking snacks down first. Looking for the planter. He chases Kai down. Okay. I mean, is he just going to just stick to the fuse here from the get-go? I think he will. Minio has to charge. Minio can't wait. Keep things really simple here in this gun run. But look at, uh, look at Anonymous setup. They got two players passively po postured on A right now. So it's not like they're playing off information. And it looks like the flashbang's going to be coming through. Kai peeks off of it. He falls. Be too late though. Minio here by himself drops a molly to try and buy as much time as he possibly can, but he's not going to have support before the hit comes through from Honorus. Flashes to try and aid his cause. And Honorus are being kept at bay here for that much longer. Snacks on the cross. There's no smoke to deny him the fight. There's only 10 seconds left here. Honorus have to save, but they're already being flanked by Kyler as well. It's a disaster for Honorus. Back into the action we go. Can Honorus at least secure the lead here and secure another set of overtime and the time? Plenty of both. Anonymo do have two players in towards this beat bomb site. Minio. It's gonna be dropping his Molly to buy the time. Yeah, Molly comes through. That's gonna be segregating the CTs. Minio finding a shot through the smoke as well. Snacks. He's with his off. He can't connect on any of his own just yet. Looking to get the aerial vision. Rico will actually hit the shots. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be a bomb plant found. Yeah, Kyla at least coming up from banana takes down one. So it's a 3v3 as Ziz chases Minio down. My god, these honorous players not afraid to make a play if they notice an opportunity. Means it's a one-man advantage, and they've got a sick crossfire setup on the bomb side as well. Really tough retake here for Anonymous to try and make happen. Innocent's going to be stepping out. He takes down one. He spots out Neo now as well in towards single oranges. Kyla's found Gruha. Oh my god, Anonymo. What on earth? How have you done it again? A two versus three retake. Kai, the point man here once again. Does he have to use his smoke? When do Anonymo call it a day? When do they accept that the aggression could be enough? Look at this play here by Snacks though. By himself, they allow the extra rotation to come through. Innocent finds one on the angle. Double peek ends up coming out. Neo finds the trade, but Innocent will end up falling. There's a peek that comes through from Archers, but Aziz is ready for it, and we're going to another set of overtime. Man, I, 
I can't, I don't want to pick on one guy, but it just feels like Kai has been making some seriously unnecessarily aggressive plays. Again, that was probably part of the plan. It was probably part of the team's idea for him to push through at that point. But I reckon he should have just smoked off the molly and, and uh, kept himself alive. Now Snacks alone in the clutch. I mean, he's been able to take down one, but he just won't be able to unset on those crossfire, surely. Tapping the bomb, he actually forces both the players out. Oh my god, he's taking down Rico. Snacks, he's just sticking the defuse now. 